Hey guys, Brenton Running here. Welcome to the Crypto Miner Bros YouTube channel. This is a how to set up a Bitmain Antminer KS3. This is specifically a 9.4 terahash model. Thank you to Crypto Miner Bros for sending this to me for review and also just setting it up for you guys in this video specifically. So go check them out on their website if you are interested in purchasing. Link down below. All prices shown on Crypto Miner Bros website includes shipping and duties and taxes. Link in the video description if you guys are interested. So we have the Bitmain Antminer KS3 here, 9.4 terahash model. It's advertised to do about 3,500 watts and for me specifically, it is getting about 3490 watts in my environment. So depending on the ambient temperatures of wherever you're mining, right now I'm just in my test bench area. So it's kind of hot. I would definitely recommend if you are going to mine with something like this that you have an environment where it's obviously cool and you have a place where you can extract the heat as it is going to output a lot of heat. So you first are going to receive, uh, if you purchased a Bitmain at Miner KS3, is a Bitmain box just like this, okay? And it's once you open it, it's going to be nicely padded with a foam piece right up on top of it. And then you'll be presented with the KS3, which will be wrapped in a static, uh, anti-static bag all around the Antminer KS3 and then another foam piece at the bottom as well as a quick start guide there. Okay, so that is the packaging contents of the Bitmain KS3. Okay, so you're gonna be placing it wherever you're mining and then next step is to figure out your power situation. Okay, so this is where a lot of people get hung up because when you wanna run a miner like this, you are gonna need to have power infrastructure to be able to run something like this, okay? So for me, I'm in North America and I am using this KS3 on 240 volt. So I have a 30 amp 240 volt circuit, which 80% rule, I'm only able to go up to about 56, 5700 watts. So 30 amp 240 volt is what I recommend. And of course, you wanna make sure you get a certified electrician to run this circuit for you if you're doing this at home, okay? If you're mining uh, Caspa at home or Bitcoin or any other ASIC miners out there, you will wanna get that done by a certified electrician. Next, you'll probably need a 30 amp, 240 volt PDU. Okay, I have something like this, which I bought off Alibaba. Numerous places where you can buy these, Amazon, nerdgears.com, a lot of different websites. And I have uh, just a metered one. It shows how much power I'm using as well on it. So it's nice and handy to know how much power you're actually pulling from something like a Bitmain KS3. Next, you're gonna want two C13 to C14 power cables that are gonna be plugging into the KS3 here, as you guys can see. And of course, you're gonna want networking as well. Hard wired networking. There is no Wi-Fi on the Bitmain KS3 or actually any big boy ASICs that are out there. So hardwire is obviously the best for the internet transfer for the uh, shares of what you're hashing, which is gonna be for mining Caspa on the Caspa network. You are so essentially supporting Caspa as uh, you are gonna be mining Caspa with one of these guys. Now, next is once you all plug it in, turn it on, you're gonna wanna go to your computer. You wanna set up your mining pool, also your your worker or your wallet address and just start getting mining right away. It's very easy. So I will go into the computer. I'll show you guys how to do that right now. Okay, so you are at your computer and you're wondering how to connect to your Bitmain KS3. So you either wanna go into your router to get the IP address or you can download a free software for Windows and it is called Advanced IP Scanner. So I have one already up here, or an example of scanning my network here. Uh, when you install Advanced IP Scanner, it should already bring up your IP address subnet. So you wouldn't have to change anything. You just, hit, you just click scan and it should show all the different devices on your network. Then you can, you know, you have to figure out which one is gonna be your Bitmain KS3. Most of the time, you know, sometimes the ASICs might show the manufacturer like Bitmain, uh, but you know, in this case here, the IP for me is 10.100.100.60. So you put that in the browser. Okay, copy and paste that in the browser, hit enter. You're gonna come up with the, it's gonna come up with the sign-in 
uh, login screen. So here, the password is root and pass, uh, username is root, password is root. Okay, same thing uh, for all stock uh, Bitmain. All right, so you're gonna be presented with the Bitmain Antminer KS3 dashboard. Now, you wanna start mining with it. So obviously you wanna to go to the settings tab on the left. Okay, top left here. And then this is where you're gonna be want it, wanting to input your pools. Okay, and your miner names or wallet addresses plus worker name or, and password. Okay, so this is gonna depend on a, a bunch of different things here. So first, the mining pool that you are wanting to mine to. Okay, so there are plenty of different mining pools out there. And fundamentally, as a crypto miner myself, have to stress that you'll want to decentralize the hash rate, spread out the hash rate as much as you can, because that way you aren't going to have, you know, 50% or more on F2 pool, for example, because if that happens, there could be a chance that F2 pool could, could be hacked and somebody could do a 51% attack on the Casper network, a double spend attack. And so we don't want that to happen. So make sure that you are not seeing 50% or more on F2 pool and uh, anything on social just post anywhere on social media like hey people get off f2 pool move to the other pools keep it decentralized that's the fundamental uh fundamental aspect of uh, crypto mining so anyways you can choose any pool you like a lot of them you know some of them need accounts some of them don't okay so what i mean i'll show you what i mean by that in a second but next you're you're gonna want to need a, a casper wallet okay there are plenty of different wallets out there okay i'm just on caspa.org and uh, they have the desktop wallet, okay, for your, you know, PC. Um, they have the App Store, Google Play uh, wallets. I highly recommend uh, doing like a laptop that is separate from your main computer, your day-to-day, -day, daily, daily computer, because, you know, you never know that you're, you never know, like you might be clicking on something, email or something, and you might get malware. So I personally have a separate laptop that I do nothing else but install a desktop wallet, a KDX wallet, okay? Or another alternative way is you have a phone that you never use that's not, you know, attached to any data or anything. Um, you, you turn off the Wi-Fi when you're done downloading the app, like so you do iPhone or Android. You do it that way as well. Just keep it totally separate and you're not, you know, you're not using it for anything else. Um, there are hot wallets as well. Um, Zalcor is one that I use myself uh, sometimes, not, not full time, but I also have a, a Tangem wallet. This will be my cold wallet, okay, self-custodial cold wallet. Uh, which gives you full control of your private keys okay so just make sure you do your own research choose the wallets i, I just mentioned uh the ones to use and how to do it but um uh, take it as you will okay now so once you get that info once you get your wallet address uh, you install either in any of these apps here get your wallet address so i want to show you an example here of joining a mining pool okay so via btc this is not sponsored or anything um or um let's see f2 pool you need an account okay uh, there's two miners. You don't need to make an account, okay? Wooly Pooly, you don't need an account. You just need your Caspa receiving uh, wallet address. So anyways, let's go. Let's say I choose a pool here, okay? So I'm going to choose via BTC, okay? I've already made my account. It's called RPM 2023. And then uh, you're going to want to go to Caspa, okay? When you go to the Caspa tab here. And then I am going to get the pool info because that's going to be under here the cast stratum all right this is what we're going to copy into the web gui of the ant miner okay so i already personally have already done that but in your case you guys are just going to you know paste that in okay next there is going to be a secondary backup pool most likely for a lot of these mining pools so make sure you put that in via btc also has that as well it says note port 315 is available too so i've already entered that in here okay Next, you're going to do want, want to do miner name. So in my case, on via PTC, which you need to register an account and an email, uh, my account's called RPM2023 and then period, because I need to get that to uh, specify the worker name here, okay, .ks3, all right? And so on v, via BTC, you can see my uh, KS3 is showing right here on the worker page here, okay? So pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Then... All right, password can be anything. X optional, one, two, three. I always do one, two, three or X. That's the most common. Hit save and that's it. All right, it'll take a couple, of minute, couple of minutes to save. Uh, in most cases, you may need to restart the miner. It's best practice to restart the miner. So that's gonna be a bottom right here button, restart the miner uh, after it's you know done saving. And then you go to the dashboard and then restart it or not. It, it should start mining, all right, after a couple of minutes. And then, yeah, you can see here, I've had it running for about four days testing here. It's been going really good. 
And yeah, it should show up on whatever pool you're mining to. Now, the alternative way, okay, so let's say we go to two miners. Okay, so let's say you, you chose two miners to mine, for example. Um, so you will want to add, okay, choose your mining server. So this information is going to be on their homepage, two miners, a cast.twominers.com. You scroll down, choose your mining server, and you're going to choose the one that is corresponding to your uh, ASIC miner. So in our case here, Bitmain KS3 is going to be the KS3. Okay, so I'm in the USA here, or America, North America. I'm going to copy this address, and we're going to go back to settings, and we're going to paste that in here. Okay, like that. All right, so make sure you have stratum plus TCP colon slash slash. Next, since two miners does not have a an account, okay, you don't have to register an account on two miners. This is where you are going to want to get your Caspa receiving address, okay, from any of these wallets that you installed. Okay, you want to get the receiving address that's going to go into the uh, your own Caspa. Uh, the private keys that you own, okay, to that corresponding wallet that you installed on either, you know, a different laptop, KDX wallet, App Store, whatever, okay? Then you're going to want to copy that. Like, let's just say we, uh, for example, I'll just show you here. We're just going to copy that. This is someone else's address. I'm just doing an example here. So it's going to be here, okay? You're going to paste that in here, all right? In the miner name, it's going to be really long, but you want to make sure you also distinguish a worker name. So you want to add period, okay? And then KS3 or whatever name that you want. It can be whatever you want. Uh, for me, I just put I just put KS3. Okay. And then of course you're gonna want to copy that and paste that into the same spot. Okay. The the minor name is gonna be the same um, as a backup, or you can do another backup pool from a different mining pool. It doesn't have to be two miners. Uh, it can be any other pool that you want as a backup in case it goes down. Okay, that's what a lot of people seem to do. Um, so there you guys go. Yeah, you put the password, anything you like and hit save and then dashboard and it's mining away. It's very, very easy. Okay, guys. So yeah, that's it. Man, this thing just screams very loud. That's another thing. If you are going to be mining at home, you want to be cognizant of your environment. If noise is a concern, just beware. These fans produce quite a bit of noise. The DB level is quite high. So just be aware uh, if you're getting into that. Okay, well, guys, that concludes the video for uh, the how-to for setting up a Antminer KS3. Thank you to Crypto Miner Bros. Yet again, guys, go check them out. Link down below if you are interested in a Bitmain KS3 Caspa Mining ASIC Miner. This is pretty nice. Produces a good amount of profit at this point in time. I will see you all in the next video. Have a good one. Peace out.